Hello again. Today I'm going to talk laundry and some tips I've learned over the years. Uh, feel free to put a question in the comments if I haven't covered something that you're wondering about and I'll see if I can help you. Uh, first things first, don't mix your dark clothes with your white clothes. Uh, the dark ink will transfer onto your whites and you won't be able to get it out. Uh, the only exception is if the clothes, uh, the dark clothes are old and have been washed so many times that there's really no ink left to transfer, then I suppose it's okay, but I still don't recommend it. Um, next, I don't recommend buying the uh, plastic jugs of liquid detergent. They're a ripoff. They're mostly water, so it's diluted detergent, and they're also terrible for the environment, and they take up a lot of space in landfills and can end up in the ocean. I insist on buying the cardboard boxes of powdered laundry detergent, even if it's the only box in the store, and it usually is. It's usually Arm & Hammer, and there's one box of it, and that's what I buy. If you wanna make your own detergent, you can. You just use half a bar of Fells Naphtha, a cup of Borax, and a cup of the Arm & Hammer washing soda. I can make another video about that if you like. Uh, let's see, if your whites are getting dingy, uh, don't use bleach. I don't use bleach anymore, I don't even buy it. Uh, it's completely pointless. Uh, it's terrible for the environment. It's really harmful if you get it in your eyes. Uh, and it's awful for your skin. It can harm your clothing, um, discolor it pretty badly, permanently. Um, it's all around not the solution that I would go to if I have dingy whites. What I would use is ammonia, a cup of ammonia. It's actually, these days, fermented cow urine, so it's pretty eco-friendly, right? Uh, get all your laundry in there, add your detergent, and then add your cup of ammonia, turn on the fan, shut the door, because it is pretty stinky and you don't want to breathe it in. Um, and uh, you'll see that it, it does a really good job of removing the kind of, I don't know, it must be like skin proteins or something on your whites. Do not mix ammonia and bleach. It could kill you. Do not mix ammonia and bleach, ever. Don't breathe it in. If that happens, I don't even know. Just call poison control and ask them what to do, okay? Uh, don't even buy bleach, really. Okay. I had one more piece of advice for you. So rough clothing and delicates should not be washed together. Rough clothing would be like jeans and towels. They go great together. They do a great job of rubbing against each other and getting clean, right? But they're gonna tear up your lace underwear you know, your delicate Nordstrom shirts are gonna get torn up in there with that. So try to wash delicates separately from your more durable, rougher clothing. If you're waking up in the morning and you're congested, probably you have a dusty pillow. You can throw the pillow away and get a new one, or you can wash it with a cup of ammonia. So, what, so add the pillows and the detergent, and then add a cup of ammonia, and it gets rid of everything. Nosebleeds, drool, dust mites, oil, skin cells, all of it gets dissolved. Uh, the ammonia does a great job of stripping your pillow clean. Even feathered pillows, yeah, gets them clean. It's the ancient Roman secret <laughs> that I wish would come back. <laughs> anyway, that's all. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if I haven't answered a question or if you thought of something that you'd like to know more about.